What is going on you guys? What's happening everybody? Today Christy and I we're out here with our good friend Steve right here and we are on the name of your boat is what? The Real G. Real G. Real G. Real G. Y'all, we met Steve when we were fishing in Rudy Inlet, and I was like, man, that's a cool name of a boat. So uh, Steve had introduced himself to Christy and I in the parking lot. So today we're on Steve's boat, and we're going out to the Chesapeake Bay Lighthouse. That's right, y'all. We're gonna be getting out some spade fish. We've got Virginia Beach Ocean front here. A little uh, choppy seas out here, but I'm supposed to lay down, get really calm out here, but excited to cruise out on Real G's. Get on some fish. That's right. Real G, baby. Real G's. So hold on. So your wife, uh, we got some orders to bring her home some meat, right? Yes. She said, T tell Jeff to put you on some fish. All right. So here we go, y'all. So we're going to go out to the light tower and hopefully target species spade fish, maybe some Spanish mackerel cobia. We've never done a video yet fishing the Chesapeake Bay Lighthouse. So we're super stoked to be out here on the Real G's. Yep. First Making time, y'all. So we just put the anchor down. By the way, look at this boat. This is sick. We're in like Steve's, the real G's. We are riding in luxury out here. So let me show you all this. So look at our charts here. We got some marks. Looks like we got a group of spade fish, kind of like in the middle part of the water column and the upper part of the water column. These spade fish are gonna be all over you guys. They'll be in the top part, the middle part, or the lower part of the water column. So anyways, we got tons of marks. Look at that. That's what we want to see right there. All right, people, so today's target species, we're gonna first start off with some spade fish. So here's all of our spade fish necessities right here. We've got some chum, we've got some clams, and then we have, those were frozen clams, and then we also have, so then we also have some of these real clams right here. And uh, yeah, these are super easy, you just smash them together. But that's it, so that's what we're gonna be using today, and then, we are gonna be using, so the cool thing about spade fish is you catch these on just light tackle. So just your normal bass rod right here is what we're gonna be using. So our buddies out here, they're gonna cast this bag over to us. And uh, <laughs> they've got some tackle that we need because apparently we need to be using these like slit bobbers with like 15 feet of leader line. So these guys who we don't even know are gracious enough to set us up with all of their tackle. So they actually blew up a plastic baggie to make it float, stuck all of their stuff in it, and casted it over here. So now Jeff is up there with the bucktail. Dang it. Oh, I got it. Sweet. All right, talk about sight casting uh, skills right here. So, buddies over here they're hooking us up with some tackle so we have a uh, plastic bag that I had to cast my bucktail out <laughs> there we go all right and I'm on. I'll take it might need the net up here. All right. Oh God. <laughs> I feel like I'm riding a horse up here. All right, that's all I got for, for line. Woo. <laughs> Finally got on a fish, yeah. <laughs> All right, people, so the skunk is out of the boat. Real geez. Yes, you guys, we've been seeing the biggest schools of these spade fish. Everybody's been hooking up. Spear fishermen have been getting on them, and my favorite fish ever in the sea. Got them in the boat. Skunk's out of the boat. I don't know, I love these little guys. They're like little quick fighting machine guns, and for their size, they're some pretty tough fighting fish. That's awesome. <laughs> yep, I love these fish. Man, I catch all my jigging. So dumb. I 
I swear, it sits in the water and these fish don't hit it. I jig it lightly through the water column and these fish like can't resist it. All right, you guys, this is what it's all about. Well, it's not all about catching fish, but it's about having fun with people that you're out with. If you guys like inshore fishing, catching redfish, go catch some spade fish. Seriously. These fish are blast. Get up on in here, Mr. Spade fish. Can y'all see him? He's just running in circles. Up into the net. Woo! All right, working on a two-man limit. All right, people, Real G's is producing now. Christy has been slaying today. Steven and I, we've had a little bit of a time out here. So we've lost about three or four fish each. He got his in right there. It's a nice size. Christy's messing with hers. Is that another one? You might be. Oh, man, I broke my hook. Oh, really? There you go. Get you some. Woo! Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What? That one just went airborne. I hope I Did I get that on video? Oh, my gosh. Wow. I've never There's seen. There's fish just I've flying. I've go airborne. That okay. was. Literally a flying fish. And we got everybody's hooked up. Dang, doing work, y'all. Steven right here just got two fish oh, in the boat. Broke. Oh, my gosh. Broke, dude. Broke. Dang. Good job. Nice. My setup that I'm using is a little ghetto rigged. I've got this float on here. Kind of works as a bobber. Um, anyway, it's kind of free lining on some leader line. I've got a little egg sinker right here. This is just uh, a one ounce egg sinker. And then I've got my two-way swivel down to my really tiny little hook and my bait. Oh yeah, there's a mass. Holy crap, there's a school of like, dang, you see the school, Jeff, right here? There's like hundreds right below us. Boat up again. Yeah. All right, boat up rods, y'all. Oh my gosh, taking me for a ride. Got me under the boat. <sighs> oh, come on. you guys got another one in the boat this is probably my biggest one of the day this light tower is totally producing tons of structure a lot of activity and a big old schools of these awesome fun fighting spades so you guys this is our target species now we got a full cooler it's been a blast today on the real G's it's been real and uh, we're not done yet sun is going down we're gonna hopefully get some more in the boat these two guys got to get some fish and some meat in That's the cooler. Right. <laughs> never like I'm not even gonna say anything y'all are doing great but anyway chum in the water and uh, it's producing dude it's like right over here man yeah, yeah right where Christy was dude you let me know on that one there he is all right here we go I'm on all right y'all second spade fish of the day Hey babe, remember that time I wouldn't net your fish? Yeah. Can you, you net mine? Net right <laughs> you want to film or you want me to net? Net. I got my fish, I got a camera. This feels a little dumb and dangerous. Oh, <laughs> Alright, you guys. Uh, Alright, just netted Jeff's fish with my fish still in my hand. And I'm filming. I'm pretty sure I'm filming. Had my fish. Not a Jeff's fish. Oh my gosh. 
like triple multitasking right there. Got another one. Here we go. All right, people. One fish, two fish style. Double Doubled it up. up. Here, Mwah. Nice job. Okay. Successful cooler. My fish has kissed your fish. All right, people. So today, this turned out to be one of the most beautiful days that we could ever plan for. Y'all, the wind absolutely laid down and we're catching fish. I'm Christy's double, got- I'm double fisting it up two. here, people. That's right. <laughs> hey, Rudy. Rudy. Jeff, here, take your pole. I, I fish is about to bite my line. If it's still light, I'd be looking real oh, hard around the dump buoys. There we go. They've been oh, there for a I got week. it, I got mine. Oh yeah? School's all the yeah. Okay, there we go, Christy's on. <laughs> Yes. So, like I was saying, this evening is absolutely beautiful out here on Real G's, Woo. making it happen. <laughs> All right. It's, it's That's right. Christy is the Big MVP tonight. Of spades cruising through and hooked up. This old salty is getting put to work tonight. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. I'm on. Oh. Here we go. Christy, I'm on. Oh yeah. No, it's mine. This might be my PB for the night. <laughs> We're doubled up. There we go. Guys unbelievable sunset going on here so beautiful and i'm so proud of my husband number three for him he's on the board officially with this nice size look at that one fish right here Boom. nicely done that's the big ends that's yeah what we this want. one came to the surface after he hit and like 30 other ones were right with him so yeah. kind of cool all right people that right there is a success dude this is beautiful we could not have asked for a better night out here at the chesapeake bay light tower Look at this. Look at this sunset right here. Two boats out there. That's it. Slick calm. All right, y'all. That right there was an epic day out at the Chesapeake Bay Lighthouse, and we absolutely slayed these spade fish. I'm going to show y'all how tasty that we can make these spade fish. We're going to do a little bit of some fried spade fish recipe action for y'all. And I know a lot of y'all down in Florida, y'all think that spade fish are a trash fish. So if you think that spade fish don't really taste that good, check this out because I'm going to show y'all how good that this fish can taste. Up here in Virginia, we do like to eat these. Check it out though. We had a killer day out there. I actually had to like literally sit on this cooler last night to close it. So I think we caught probably about like, I don't know, 12, cause that was our limit. I think it's four per person. Has some good size ones too. Let me go ahead and put this camera up on the tripod. I'm gonna show y'all how to do this recipe right quick. All right, so here it is. These are our spade fish. They kind of have the same anatomy as in like the shape of a trigger fish. So one of the benefits of spade fish over triggers is that they are easy to fillet. Pretty simple. So all I did, just one cut right here, and then and then all we're doing is we're just working our knife right down the fillet of this fish, just like pretty much any other fish that we would fillet. And these guys are some big old dinner plates. So I'm gonna use a trick that I learned filleting trigger fish just to get this fillet pulled off. All I'm gonna do is just cut a little hole right here in the back. And all you're gonna do is just grab this like that and then we're just gonna pull it off there we go so right there that's our spade fish fillet these spade fish actually have as you can see some pretty good size fillets on them but all this blood right here this kind of bloodline we're gonna cut that out because that's what's gonna give us some of that fishy taste That right there is what we don't want. That's what's gonna give you that fishy taste. That is what we do want. I'm kind of picky with my meat. I don't really like too much of the blood. Some people like to leave it in, like king mackerel. You can leave some of that bloodiness in and it's not gonna hurt you too bad, but I like to take the extra time and just clean it up, make sure all this meat's just clean and fresh. That's not a bad piece of meat right there, people. 
All right, y'all, so here we are. We're in the kitchen, and we're gonna fry up these beautiful spade fish fillets. I'm gonna show y'all just how tasty that this meat can be. So, all we're gonna do is I have a few of my, we're gonna do a little bit of some frying today. So I have, right behind me I have some flour. Uh, I've got some pepper, garlic, and I'm kinda crossing, crossing uh, little lines here. I've got Old Bay and Everglades. So typically people like one or the other, but I'm gonna do both, why not? It's frying, you really can't mess it up. As long as you have flour, some light seasoning. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut up our fish fillets into just some little bite size, kind of like fish nuggets, about like this big right here. All right, so we got all of our fish bites right here. Take a plastic bag. We're just gonna put it in there just like this. Dump some flour in here. Hopefully I don't spill it all over my kitchen. About that much. We're not using any measuring apparatuses today. When you're frying fish, it is near impossible to mess it up. I'm taking some garlic seasoning, gonna pepper that in there, get our Everglades up in there, do a little bit of Old Bay. And then a little bit of pepper. Dang, this smells really good. And then just mix this all around, just like this. All right, so now the easy part. We're just gonna take our pan, if I don't burn down my kitchen, take some olive oil. About that much right there. We don't need a ton, but we definitely want enough so we can get a good fry action going on. All right, for those of y'all who don't know, when you're getting ready to fry something, take a little bit of water on your fingers. When you start to hear that crackling and it starts popping, that's when you know it's ready. Oh my gosh, this smells so good already. I'm telling y'all, y'all think that spade fish is a trash fish? It is not. Ooh, that was close. I almost got some grease up on my face. All right, here we go. Super easy. Throw your fish right in there. Does not take that long at all to cook. So, all we're gonna do is just take a fork. I'm gonna cook it evenly on both sides. So another thing that y'all can do, take an egg as well, and you can crack that in your plastic bag. That's gonna give it more of that crispy fried. I kind of like this texture. Look at that. Oh, you can just smell it. It is just permeating the kitchen with flavor, people. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start transferring some of this onto our plate. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. All right, here we go. So this right here, that's our fish nuggets. Looking nice, but to make them even more nice, take a little bit of lemon. Yeah, let's get that restaurant quality. Take some lemon, squeeze it on there. Very last thing we're gonna do, take some more Old Bay. All right, people, there it is. This is our spade fish, little fish bites right here. Let me just show y'all. Look at how that just steaming, steaming with flavor. Nice crispiness on the outside, tender, white, flaky meat on the inside. A Little bit of lemon, some of that Old Bay Everglades. Can't go wrong. All right, y'all, so that's all we got for today. If y'all in Virginia, y'all are fishing the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel, hopefully this video helps y'all out to catch those spade fish and a nice little recipe for y'all to uh, share with your friends and um, just have some super high quality fish. All right, people, that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching, peace out.